Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and tonight we are going to be talking WCPL. Uh, you know, it's a, a circuit that uh, we've been having a lot of fun with. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple great, great guys on tonight to talk about it. Uh, captains of two teams that um, have played uh, the WCPL and are actually looking forward to going to New York, too. And uh, as am I, I'm uh, very excited about going there. I can say hi real quick, though. Paul Farrell, number one every week, jumps on. He beat you, Bonchick. Bonchick, I think, is the only one that's ever beat him. Uh, maybe Ryan Courtney beat him one time. But anyhow, hello to all you guys. I appreciate it very much. Tonight, I've got, uh, like I said, a couple of great captains on. I've got a, a new guy that um, is making a circuit now, and uh, he's starting to make a splash pretty good. And uh, he's a pretty good guy, too. You guys are going to like him. Uh, Jacob Easter. Jacob is uh, Toxic Teddy's captain of toxic teddy that's a pretty cool name actually so i love it and i've got a guy that's been around um been a friend of mine for 30 some years uh one heck of a player and he has a son dylan that he has brought along that is also one terrific player and um he's a captain of a team that's been around for a long long time too you know 30 some years you know when i'm i'm talking history i'm talking history you know uh I'm grateful that we got to live it back then. Believe me, it was pretty cool. And tonight I've got uh, the captain of the OG Ironman, Mr. Dirk Gadbury on tonight. And uh, you're going to like to hear these guys. You know, we're going we're to talk a little bit about the WCPL, but we're also going to talk a little bit just about paintball. You know, you guys know I love paintball. I love bringing these guys together because, you know, the more people we bring together, and decide to work together, the bigger we're going to make paintball. You know, it, uh, I wish everybody would jump on board with that. But, you know, some people think that they want uh, the whole pie instead of a piece of it. So anyhow, I got a few things I want to mention real quick. And then I want to bring these guys out here. Um, I want to start. Uh, Daniel Gonzalez is doing a fundraiser for one of his co-workers. Now, he contacted me a few weeks ago. And if you jump on Flagpole Productions, you'll actually see uh, how you can... He's going to have a raffle, but he's also, it's a fundraiser. You can also donate to it. He His, uh, one of the guys that he works with has a, a teenage daughter that has uh, stage three cancer. So, um, you know, anything that you can help him out with, you know, if you can help with a donation, you can help with, you know, donating something that he can raffle off. The raffle is going to be probably in about three, four weeks. But, you know, um, it's all about paintball community. You know, we need to stick together and we need to help our own, just like all the other sports do, you know. And I, I think that uh, the people in paintball are super. They really are. And, um, you know, Bill Bailey and I have helped people. And I'm I'm asking for a little help here uh, with this. Uh, get a hold of Daniel Gonzalez if you don't see it on my thing. And uh, he'll he'll get you going on that. So you'll you'll love it. Then I got to mention real quick. The Montrussia Classic is coming up, and that is going to be in Yorkville, Illinois, at the Fox Paintball Field, and that's July 29th and 30th. Uh, Jennifer and Frank Montressa are um, putting this on. You know, their son Tim started it years ago, and and they're, you know, they took over, and they're doing a very, very good job. So that should be a pretty cool tournament. It is at Fox Paintball in Illinois, July 29th and 30th. And then something we are going to talk about tonight. Oh, yes, I can't wait. In about 30 days, we are all going to New York to play the WCPL New York. And that is, uh, I cannot wait to do that. I mean, it, it is June 9th through 11th, and it's in Newburgh, New York. And uh, I got to tell you, um, you know, Dirk, uh, that's coming on tonight. Dirk has played this for many years. It's absolutely very, very cool. Uh, absolutely love it. Hey, Stefan Gumby, my buddy down in Southern California. You know, I'm coming down there the 28th to Sacon Village. Uh, you know, his son's graduating and we're going to go down there and have a party and go play some paintball and have a good time. And I can't wait to do that, but it's going to be very cool. And Tony Dietz is watching from Texas. Very cool. You're you're not late. He says I'm late. Now you're not late. I'm still talking, man. We you're never late when the guests come on. That's when you're late. 
You know, me, I just rattle on. I absolutely love it. I don't know. It's, it's just bred in me. You know, when we get Dirk on, Dirk will say, yeah, I've known this guy for 30 years and he still doesn't stop talking. But anyhow, um, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. And I want to mention real quick, Social Paintball has now got the original Tiger Stripe camouflage. And you can tell it's original when you look on the inside. If I'm getting this right, am I doing this right? Yes, I am. It has the Tiger Stripe logo on the inside up or above. And uh, these chairs here are up for sale right now. Um, you know, it took a lot of talking to get Tim Schloss to do this again. Then it took a lot for Tim, the, the place we were going to, to get the colors right. Tim was never happy. Now he's happy. Now they're out there. So if you get a chance, you want to jump on social paintball. These are the original colors of the Tiger Stripe uh, with the new material, obviously. So pretty cool. Let me get my shout outs real quick so I can drag these guys out here. I start every week with, obviously, Mr. Tim Schloss. He has Gateway Paintball back there in St. Louis. And uh, Tim has the last of the WCPL tournaments of the season, which uh, both these gentlemen I'm bringing on tonight are going to be there playing this with their teams. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Gateway Paintball is a great place to go. A fun time. Uh, just uh, absolutely terrific. And uh, if you get a chance, you're going to want to check it out. Six minutes from the airport. Very, very close. Hotels, everything. Casinos, uh, as Kevin Donaldson will tell you. Everything. Very, very close. Very cool. Then I got to say hi to Dan and John Colby. Uh, Mortal Air. They were Air America back in the day. Been my sponsors for 30 some years. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of air systems out there. I don't badmouth anybody. You know, I I salute anybody that puts a product out there because I know it takes a, a lot of uh, money, a lot of time, a lot of effort to do so. But uh, Immortal Air has been my, uh, my go-to for a lot of years. Never had a problem with it. Air America back in the day, Immortal Air now. I uh, just absolutely love it. Then I got to say hi to my buddy for many many years also mr bud or war game products um auto cocker you don't see you need to say a lot about bud you know bud kind of kind of holds his own man he's uh you know he's done so much for paintball in the past and the guy is still out there doing it love the guy big time then i gotta say hi to tom k tom k was my second marker sponsor for many many years with the auto mag um, he had air gun designs back in the day Terrific man, uh, still a terrific product. Uh, you know, there's a lot of markers out there, and there's a lot of markers back in the day. But you know, the two that you really seen at the the tournaments at the at the beginning and stuff like that was, you know, the auto cocker, and then the auto mag. Those were two go to guns. So, absolutely love uh, Tom K. Good man, took care of me very well for a lot of years. And then I guess say hi to Rainy and Juvie Boucher. <clears throat> They had paintball news back in the day, and paintball news was pretty cool. You could go out to your field, and you didn't have to – it didn't cost the player nothing. you just go out and pick it up, period. Two times a month, they would send it out there, and they'd tell you what just happened, what was going on, what was for sale, where all the fields were on a map. It, it just – it was like the Bible of paintball. It was so cool. Absolutely loved it. Then uh, Randy Camilla, I mention him every week because Randy uh, was the editor for APG back in the day. Gave me my first cover shot, and uh, the guy did an awful lot for paintball. He really, really did. Everybody on this list, I feel, has done an awful lot for paintball. And then Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun had paintball sport back in the day, and Jerry Braun has some paintball sport field uh, in Newburgh, New York, where we're going to go play this next month. I am so excited. I I just love going out there. You know, the fields are great. Um and it's probably the oldest woods ball field in existence that uh, tournaments have been held on. So, and then I got to say hi to Ross Alexander. Ross was my very first marker sponsor. Uh, Line SI. I still have my original Bushmaster I played 15 man with back in the day. Pretty cool. And then I say hi to Jim Lively. Two tournaments back in the day. And, and Dirk, will, you know, he'll attest to this. He's played these just like I did back in the day. You know, you wanted to go to Jim Lively's Masters and you wanted to go to Jerry Brown's World Cup. Man, that was like a, a family reunion going to those two tournaments because everybody was there. It was so cool. I absolutely loved it. And then I got to say hi to my buddy Gino. Uh, Gino from Belkin. Uh, you know, Gino doesn't say a lot. You know, Gino's a pretty cool guy. He uh, Actually, he's going to play on the band with us, I believe, in uh, 
New York, along with David Bell from View Loader and I got and uh, John Amadea. I got some pretty cool people going to play on the band this time out there. And then I say hi to my two young guns. Uh, let me show you the Hermans. Mr. Jaden Gong and Mark Gong Jr. Um, you know, Mark Gong is a friend of mine for a long time, a friend of Dirk's for an awful long time, too. We all played together. Uh, we played alongside each other and we played against each other, you know, and uh, nothing but total respect. Absolutely. So let me quick bring out uh, Mr. William Bailey so I can bring out these two captains of two terrific teams. And you're going to love these guys. What's going on, Billy? Surviving a high winds. <laughs> yeah, just a little windy there. It's a, just a little bit. We're, we're it... waiting for 80 mile an hour winds. So. Oh wow, maybe they'll miss you. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. We've, we've been watching lightning now for about 30 minutes and, and thunder, and you know it's. We watched the front just go right over us. It's like, oh it, crap! It'll come sliding in there. We got, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we got a few people watching us tonight. Ryan Courtney's even jumped on. You know, Ryan's been traveling all over the world. Oh, Man, yeah. I got to tell you, yeah. So, and Paul Farrell, he beat Bonchick out. Nah. You know, those two, are, yeah, I know those two first uh, all the time. Usually, Paul though, I, you know, if I had to give an award, it'd have to go to Paul because he he knocks it out of the park. But you know, I got a couple cool guys on tonight, Billy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a guy that I just uh, I just met within the past year and taken to him you know that's why i put him on his show a couple of times that's why i talk about him and that's why I, I try to help promote him uh jacob easter is a pretty good guy and then i got a guy that uh you know i absolutely love you know i i go back to the beginning with all my friends and all the guys that i got to play with and play against and everything like that <clears throat> and this guy he, his name is just uh synonymous with with paintball you know as you showed his jersey you got one of his jerseys Right behind you. That's right. That's right, man. Good guy. I, you know, I had the, the privilege of having him on my team, and I had the privilege of playing against him when he was with the Ironmen. So let's start real quick, bringing out the new guy. Please, everybody, welcome the captain of the Toxic Teddies paintball team, Mr. Jacob Easter. What's going on, Jacob? What's going on, everybody? Glad to be so, here. Yeah, well, yeah. glad to have you. Glad to have you. You know, we, we want to talk, uh, you know, a little uh, WCPL tonight and a little paintball. And, you know, you got you just got done doing the, the Texas tournament and no. uh, the Texas one more time, the Florida tournament. And then yes. you did the one down in Southern uh, California, too, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, that one we just kind of threw together at the last minute. And uh, now we're looking forward to doing it big time next year. So that should be pretty cool. Love that, but I yeah. want to bring on another guy uh, that, uh, you know, I want you to get to know this guy, especially when you guys, uh, you guys are going to link up uh, when you're out there in New York. Dirk is one of the, the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, and his son, Dylan, is uh, he's a terrific player. Terrific player. Along with Dirk. Dirk's no slouch, man. Dirk's still fast. Though. I don't know what he does. You know, I've tried to figure out what he's drinking, but man, that guy just hauls ass. I don't know what's going on with him. So please, everybody, welcome Dirk Gadbury. What's going on, Dirk? Gentlemen. Howdy. How's it going, gentlemen? It's going good. It's going good, buddy. Um, you know, I, I was just talking about, you know, you got to play the fields out in New York uh, many years ago. Yeah. Uh, many years yeah. ago. And, Once or uh, twice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, huh? And uh, now you're going back again this year with your team to play it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, we're really looking forward to it. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to get to uh, those hollow grounds, man. I mean, the first, the location of the first world cup. <clears throat> um, I mean, that's, I, I will honestly say that that, that tournament, that was, I think that was a second tournament of my professional career. And I was with, with you, Freddie and CP. Yep. And that was, um, you know, I mean, that just took it to a whole nother level. I mean, when you, you walk out and see those fields and it's just, it's unbelievable. It's a feeling. It, oh, it, God. It, it's a feeling, it, especially yeah. in Ponderosa. Yeah. 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 When you stand back and look at it, you know what I'm saying? There's just, 
and 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 wrap your head around like i said i mean back then it was the early days so it's it didn't have well it had history there still was history there but that yeah. was you know it started before you know a few years before my time but um but you're absolutely yeah. right even back then when you walk up and you take a look at these these fields from a distance and take a look it's just there's something there's something there you know yep. you know back i don't know if it's it's if it's the ghost running around in the woods, the paintball players, or I don't know what it is, but there's just something about those those fields and those woods that that is it brings it to a whole different experience that you'll 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 experience anywhere else in the United States. It's hollowed ground, man. Yes, you know, that's absolutely. All there is to it. And I don't know if you remember back in the day, but you know the the Ponderosa was actually bigger. It had a yeah. great big gully, and the flag station was on. Um, both sides, not the way it is now, but it kind of went right. off the other way. Because we, we beat the, uh, all Americans, I believe, we beat uh, on that, that field, too. Yeah. 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 yeah it was, uh, you know, Dirk, I, you know, I was so happy to have you on the team back in the day, you know, and I was very happy to see when you went to the Ironman and, you know, and then what you guys achieved after that. You guys were, uh, you were always a hell of a player. But, you know, one thing I, you know, to me, respect is everything. Period, absolutely you know? and 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 the respect that i had for you uh back in the day you've always had the same attitude and your son dylan is exactly like you a little better looking obviously but uh, <laughs> he, yeah <laughs> but he is a little uh, taller he, yeah yeah but he's a great kid and he you yeah. can tell that uh you know the apple didn't didn't roll far from the tree he's a very yeah. good kid and he's going yeah. to new york with you right oh absolutely yeah yeah i'm bringing i'm bringing the whole squad i'm bringing I'm bringing, I'm bringing the guns. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's the tip of the spear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. He, he absolutely is. No doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I told him sometime when you guys aren't playing, sometimes we do a big game or something like that. Him and I are going to Oh, that would be great. That'd yeah, be we're great. Gonna go, we're going to do something. But he's, he's a good guy. And Jacob Easter. Now you, you uh, might've seen him before, but uh, this guy, he's, he's an up and coming kid here now. He's a, uh, running around playing paintball all over the place. And uh, I've had the privilege of, of having him on the show a couple of times. And then um, he actually played the Southern WCPL that we had at the beginning of the year. You know, and that one was kind of a, we decided five weeks ahead of time to do that. So, and then we went head to head with uh, with another five-man tournament. But uh, the guys down there had a pretty good time. And I got to tell you, Jacob threw together a team that uh, did pretty darn good. Am I right, Jacob? Yeah. I mean, we had two of us that had practice together from here and everybody else was thrown together, saw each other on Friday, played together on Saturday. Yeah, but you know what was cool? I walked down there when I talked to you guys, everybody was smiling. You know, uh, we were, we were yeah. all on the same page. We were in a chat group uh, beforehand and, you know, tried to get the vibe right. Um, for me, that's a big thing that everybody clicks the right way. Um, you know, w with every team, obviously, but uh, I just want to make sure everybody's having a good time still, and that we all just, you know, do our jobs. Yeah, you know, that's that's one thing I like about the WCPL. You know, and and I like all all tournaments. Let me start there real quick. You know, the NXL, the ICPL, all of them are cool. Uh, you know, I just and I actually help promote them all. I I talk good about all of them because I don't think any of them are bad. It just is, you know, the WCPL, we're just kind of going in a little bit different direction. Um, you know, we're trying to, you know, back in the day when I played too, it was like a business, you know, and, and now that I'm older, I just think uh, going out and doing the woods ball thing is just a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we're having the one in August out here and the real, the real cause, I'm going to say the real person to put this together for me was dirt. He called me up and he goes, oh, Freddie, you got to check out shooters. He goes, you want to see a good woods fall field? Go up there and, you Dirk, you know your fields. It, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely yeah. very cool. Yeah, it's, you know, it's California riverfront property. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's about the best that we've got out here as far as woods. Or you go up in the Sierras, but, you yeah. know, you get along those river banks and there's some really cool terrain. You know, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely, and and I'm looking forward to it. I really am, you yeah. know. And Jacob's coming out with the Toxic Teddies, uh, and actually the the Hermans are even putting a team in. So you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, 
it, it's going to be pretty cool. I, I, yeah. I can't wait. You know, we did yeah. the Florida tournament. I wish you could have been at the Florida tournament because uh, it was pretty cool. And, you know, yeah. Jacob put a team together down there, and uh, they competed pretty darn good down there. And I thought the fields were pretty cool, too. Um, I thought the fields were great. Yeah. Yep, they, they were. Good. They did a really good job down there. And, you know, the mounds there, when it rains, they shrink. And Steve yeah. did a really good job of going out there and making sure that that was stacked back up. Uh, I went out there and talked with him the night before, and I just great job to him and Dan and everything they have going on out there. I think they did a good job. Yeah, they absolutely did a real good job. Now, Steve Priscill is who he's talking about. That's uh, Dan's partner um, down there in Florida at Panhandle Paintball. And yeah, I had a lot of fun down there. You know, um, matter of fact, you know, I got a good team going in New York. I am. I'm biting at the bit to get there. You know, I mean, I, 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 hey, I got David Bell. You know, I don't know if you know View Loader. Uh, I know Dirk knows it, but I don't know if you know. Oh, absolutely. Him. Yeah, David Bell, he's the one who invented View Loader. Him and his partner are going to be there. Uh, Gino from Belkin is going to come and play. John Amadea. So wow. You guys, oh, yeah, you guys are going to get to shoot the crap out of a lot of cool guys. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a good but you know time. something you know something freddie that's what it's all about right you know yeah. that's what it's all about it's it's all about having fun and 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 being competitive on the field and then and afterwards shaking hands and having a beer and having a good old time and and at a pace that you know young and old are going to have a good time you know what i'm saying it don't matter if you're big or small or fast or slow it's 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 a game that we're going to have a good time and have fun, and that's what's important. Well, you know, that you said a mouthful there, too, because, you know, coming off and, you know, leaving it on the field and coming off and shaking hands, and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, that's a big thing because, you know, a lot of people are starting to come out to these tournaments now that are not involved in the tournament scene, but they're coming out to check it out to see if they get interested enough to do it. You know, right. when you see guys coming off, um, you know, win, lose, or draw – you come off with a decent attitude, it's going to make them want to come and play. But, you know, you see guys coming off swearing and yelling, calling the other guy a cheater and stuff like that. That turns people off. You know, I just, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a- anything can be talked out. You know, if something goes wrong on the field, talk it out. Don't come out and yell it out. That's just, yeah. uh, that does not help our sport. I'm uh, I'm just big into playing. Is, is I'm a deer playing? Yes, John's playing. Absolutely. He is coming, man. I got to tell you, Facebook user, that's got to be Rob because he says I'm skipping my daughter's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I expect to win with John Amadea. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. John was going to come on tonight. John's uh, just finishing up um, the magazine right now. And so, uh, you know, I told him, I says, you know, we're good tonight. But uh, and we got Ruben watching us. You know, Ruben Salter, don't you, uh, Jacob? I, that's why I'm still dressed like this. I just left practice. Oh, did you? <laughs> I just left Ruben. <laughs> yeah, Ruben, Ruben is, uh, he's uh, another one uh, that's uh, partnered up with Jacob, and they have a podcast uh, called Teddy Talks, and it's a great podcast. Ruben's a terrific guy. Ruben gave me this in Florida. He handmade me this. It's uh, um, a stone. You got one too, huh? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I was I was so happy to get this. I was uh, I was very impressed. And I'm very impressed with Ruben too. He's a good kid. You couldn't have picked a better guy to to jump on with. Uh, he, he's a very good guy, and he likes to get out there and play paintball. Oh, he moves. He's a big man, but he he moves. Oh he yeah, moves. but you know, see, that's what's so good about about our tournament. You know, big, small, skinny, fast, slow. Obviously, um, you know. I mean, uh, everybody has a spot out you know to do it and do i go out there expecting to win no do i go out there playing hard to try to win absolutely but do i have a good time with you guys i can't even begin to tell you you know i mean i get the crap shot out of me and i still come off there happy as hell you know seriously i do and i'm in i'm in the starting booth you know and i'm at the station and I still get the same excitement I got 30 some years ago before that game starts, waiting for that whistle to get out there and start doing it. You know, isn't that isn't that funny? At our at our age, you get the same butterflies, the same everything, Freddie. 
It's Absolutely. funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dirk, you still, you, Dirk, you still play at a pretty high level, though. You know, I remember um, I went up to, was it American Paintball before uh, it closed? No, not American Paintball. Um, the one at Anthony. West Coast. Uh, he, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we played a, a big game up there. And we were in the starting booth. We took off, man. I was eating your dust for about 400 feet. And I'm going, what the heck is this guy? Man, he was, Billy, he was smoking out oh. there, you know? Yeah, man, we don't I, smoke. I, I did. I, I, I know, you know. And I'm, I'm running as fast as I can, man. And all I see is butt and backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've got the herd. When, when we play, we, it's the herd mentality. There's safety in numbers. You're not, you know, you're just yeah. first. I, I, I like the other, whoever we play, they always go, hey, Freddie, I'll see you on the 50. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Sure, sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 20's the new 50 for me. Uh, <laughs> the 20. <laughs> That's but funny. I, uh, but I got to tell you, you know, um, Dirk, uh, Billy Dirk is the one that turned me on to the field uh, uh, that we're going to do up here in August. And it's a great field. And, you know, I'll tell you something that's pretty funny. I didn't even know it was there, Dirk. I didn't even know that existed. And uh, when I went out there and uh, introduced myself to the people, they were so excited to bring the WCPL to their place right now. And, you know, and I tell everybody the reason we're going there is because of Dirk. You yeah. know, Dirk, Dirk is the one. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that beeping. How many uh, how many fields are you looking at there, Freddie? I'm only going to put two fields out there. Two two fields in there. Two yeah. fields uh, be uh, 300 feet long by 150 feet wide. Okay. And and uh, you know the size of a football field, and I think that's uh, uh, pretty good because you know there's a lot oh, of absolutely. trees and brush and stuff out there. Yeah. So I, I, I yeah, think it's so going to work out good. There's there's trees that cover the entire playing field. So you're gonna play that. You're gonna play that one right alongside the staging area there with the net that's on it. That's correct. Yeah, that's gonna yes. be one, and, and that's probably where I'll do the finals. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do just like we did down in Southern California. After the game was over, the three teams that were in the the finals, I let them choose what field they wanted to play. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so that's probably the same thing I'm gonna do uh, here too. Joshua Strada, my buddy. You know, I talk about meeting people in paintball real quick, guys. I got to throw this out there because Josh is such a good guy. I talked to Joshua Strada when I first started doing my podcast. Josh was one of the first guys that jumped on every week, every week, every week. Wasn't he, Billy? Mm -hmm. All the time. Never got to meet the guy. I'm down at the Southern California tournament. And this is two years later now. I'm down at the Southern California tournament. The guy comes up and taps me on the shoulder. And who is it? It's Joshua Strada. So, you know, when I say paintball is so cool, it's, it's, and the memories that it gives me, you know, it, I think some of the best memories that I've ever had in my life have involved people in paintball and things I've got to do with them. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and you know, they, and Jacob, you know, you're, you're building yours now. You know, Dirk and I, we've, We've got a treasure trove <laughs> of them for a long, long time. Big storage we, unit. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, Memories. Yeah. <laughs> and now, you know, Jacob, you know, that's that's why I'm, you know, I'm trying to push you along here a little bit. You know, I think you're good for the sport. I think you're a good kid. And I, I like the way you, you handle yourself. You know, I like the way you put a team together. If you haven't got everybody, get people put them together and let's go have a good time because you never know i gotta be honest with you i've seen the worst team in the world kick the butt out of the best team in the world so you know i mean it's just like any other sport any given day if the luck's with you it's with you man well in florida our team was made up of all scenario players yep you guys did pretty good though down there yeah I mean, we you guys uh, hung a couple didn't you uh, we only lost two matches, and we were in a three-way tie for the fourth-place semifinals with Lockout and Juggernauts, who actually, wow. and we we beat Juggernauts in our first match. Yep. So we did pretty That's good. Awesome. That's we lost team. to uh, Tiki's Revol Revol Revolution, I believe, and uh, can't even think of the other team name. But those were the only two losses that we had. And, we finished strong. Well, but you know what? You, the guys all acted cool. You guys played hard, though. I mean, you really did. And, you know, other than the band, you know, I love the band. We're, 
we go out there to have a good time and promote paintball, and that's exactly what we do. But you know, the rest of the teams that were out there, there were no slouches. I mean, any even the ones that that finished just above us played very, very good. So, and you know, the team that won, have you ever heard of them? Juggernauts. You know, yeah. So I, I talked to their team captain. He's actually going to be in Indiana this weekend and maybe might come try to check out our new 10-man field, the one that I shared a picture and you got to see. Right. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, that looks pretty good, too. Uh, team Crowley's been doing really good in our area. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you, one team that really impressed me, and uh, they came over because they couldn't believe that we went over and talked to them, and that was Team Lockup. Oh yeah, oh they they've got a history. There's no doubt about it. There's some ballers on that team. There is, that was the other team. Yeah, yeah. Yep. but you know, Dirk. Uh, when I was down in Florida, they came over. They came first. They came over to get me to go take a picture with them. So I went and took a picture with them. Then I started talking to them. You know, and it, the guys. You know, I, I almost felt like I'd met them all before. They were just oh, yeah. so friendly and so nice. And I'm thinking, man, you know, if I could get everybody in the U.S. to watch something like that, they'd all want to play paintball. Because yeah. these guys, you know, they were just class all the way. You know, Especially you, guys, you guys got a lot of guys like that, too, you know, Dirk. You got oh, yeah. a lot of guys Absolutely. on the team. Pat Raider, you know, a lot of the guys that yeah. play on that team played on Constant Pursuit back in the day. We all yeah. played together. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, Rob yeah. Walker. So Billy's not going to be able to make it out to New York this year. Um, no, no. But you know, I got a couple of guys from the Booney Boys coming in. Uh, so I, I and I've got Ian. You know, Ian Jocks, right? Uh, God, who the hell did he play for out here? He plays for a team out here too. I can't even remember the name of him now. But he's he's <laughs> yeah. going to play with us too. Huh? Ian. That sounds that sounds familiar. I just can't put a face on it. Yeah, so he's he's got the big beard. Oh, Hell of a yeah. player. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't he play with the Wolverines? That's it. That's yeah. the team. Absolutely yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. plays in New York with us. Hey, he's going to play with us out there, too. So. Well, he moved He moved back east somewhere where he used to live. He moved back out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's, he's out here about half the time still because he comes out here and plays with the Wolverines and goes skiing with all those guys. So, yeah, yeah, so exactly I don't know where used... he, I don't know where he actually – resides anymore it's between northern california and where he came from so yeah yeah, he's he's, out here. Last yeah. Month, i think he was out here uh, yeah he, he's he an awesome something. yeah awesome guy he runs around with a big smile on his face all the time he's all awesome time. Yeah. you know how i met him when we mm. did cancer benefit a couple of years ago um i donated uh an immortal air system mm -hmm. and, he, and he won the immortal air oh system. there you go yeah, Perfect. he came over to me and he go. He asked me, he goes, you do me a favor and sign this for me? And I said, absolutely. So I signed it for him. I, I actually have a picture of him and I hanging in my living room. There you um, go, Fred for life. Uh, and that's exactly how it was. You know, we just yep. uh, seemed to click it off right away. Um, you know, just like just like you and I, just like Pat Raider. You know, yep. I mean, guys like that, and, and same way with your son, you know, Dylan terrific terrific kid um yeah. you know and uh, oh we got mark watching us tonight mark check out this shirt <laughs> i got this shirt from mark this weekend gave me the shirt gave my wife her shirt uh, gave me the hat um but i gotta i gotta sport the wcpl hat tonight though cause, oh they um, got hats i gotta give me one of those oh yeah i'll get you i got them right here there you I'll go you uh -oh. yeah. I'll, I'll see if one's big enough for your head <laughs> I love you, Dirk. You, know you bobblehead. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't, I can't say enough about what Mark has done to, to keep oh. in the sport of paintball, too. You know, and you know, one thing, I, and one thing I talked about him a little bit this last week. You know, him and Mike Beard. You know, those guys. You know, a couple of years ago, there was Young Guns playing. I'm sure across the U.S., but you didn't hear anything about it. And then, you know, he took Jaden and, and Junior out to play. And uh, then afterwards, he told me about it. And I said, well, hey, I'm going to put you on the show. So I had to, had them all on the show, and we talked about it. And then next thing I know, I get other people calling and go, well, you know, I got a kid that plays, and I got a kid that plays. And it seemed like Mark and them were the tip of the spear. It seemed yeah. like after after they went out and did it, and, and we televised it and talked about it, 
it just popped up absolutely everywhere. So, yeah. you know, when, when people ask me, you know, about the Young Guns thing, I'm 100% in, period, yeah. because there's a future of our sport. But, you know, I would definitely want to go back to Mark Gong and, and Michael Beard. Oh, there's um, no doubt about it. They they definitely, you know, like I said, it's it's the, the, the sport has come in and out with the youth, you know, through the years. Um, yeah. It wasn't that long ago when they actually had it, and you know there was college teams and stuff like that. And I don't know yep. what happened, why they went away from, you know how how the industry kind of went away from from promoting the the youth end of it. But but Mike and Mark definitely, you know, out of necessity because you know Mark's got some kids and and uh, and and Michael's got a couple of grand grandsons that you know. Right. And my, yep. my I've got a five year old grandson too. He's getting ready to turn six, and he's he's already talking about it. You know. It's, it was out of necessity because there was nothing there. But, you know, I mean, but if you stand back and look at it, it's it, it's necessary because yeah, yeah. because and this is the conversation that's coming up a lot. Um, you know, in the mechanical, you see a lot of the, the, the older players, you know, with the mix of the younger, you know, younger generation. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is if you take a look at, you know, the NXL, um you know, the, 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 the pro end of the NXL X ball, you know, most of the teams that are dominating and doing well and winning, I mean, let's, let's, you know, for instance, dynasty, you, you got to definitely say that, uh, give them, give them props, but they're all guys that are, you know, in their late thirties and, and early forties, you know? Yeah. So somehow we've got to start funneling some of this youth into those, into that top or that top division, you know, and, and, if, if they don't have kids playing a kids, you know, kids youth division and, and, and promoting it on that end of it, it, it's just a dying sport. You know what I mean? There's only players absolutely. going play for so long, you know what I'm no, saying? No, so, you're, you're you know, absolutely right. You know, that's why yeah. I've been pushing, you know, ever since I heard that I've been pushing the young guns. Yeah. I, I, I promote it constantly, but you never heard about it until then, you know, and I just yeah, absolutely. Want, you know, and then now people are trying to rewrite history going, yeah, my kid did this first. My, you know, I I didn't hear about anything until Mark and them started the Hermans and started it going, you know. Yeah. And, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. And I'm sure there was people doing it. But, you know, it would have never happened at the World Cup if it wouldn't have been Mark and them actually firing it off to get it going like that. Yeah. So, yeah, and I, I, know, I believe I that. They yeah. brought attention. They brought attention to it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They they Correct. they they sparked that conversation. They promoted that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's yeah, a big I, deal because I had them on my show a few times, Dirk. Without you know? without the kids, I mean, what do we got? You know, there's there's yeah. you know we have to bring the kids into it. You know, because yep. those are the long those are the long term players. But you know, a, a good thing, you know, and and like I went out to to see the Maui Misfit. I love that group from Maui. Uh, but anyhow, you know, I, I seen them this weekend, and you know what's good about the Hermans and what's good about the Maui Misfits and the Marauder, yeah, uh, Montressor Marauders and stuff, is the attitudes of the kids are great. Or, you know, um, yeah. yeah, they're they're not raising them. You know, you can be the best player in the world, but if you're a jerk, you don't do nothing for our sport. You might right. make your stuff look good, but you don't do anything for paintball, period. You know, other than maybe bring it down a little bit. You know, and all these kids I've got to meet, all the Hermans and, and everything, it's a tribute to their parents, the way they brought them along. Same way with you and Dylan. Yeah. You know, I mean, Dylan could be just the opposite of what he is, but he isn't. He's right. a good kid because you instilled on him, you know, go out there and play hard, but be nice when it's done. And he yeah. does both. You're very yeah. good, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a respect thing. I mean, you, 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 when you play this game, we're all competitive naturally. You know, I mean, hell, I was, my dad, my dad was competitive at, at Monopoly. You know what I'm saying? It didn't matter what we were doing, whatever game it was. We were, you know, I mean, you turned away and your, your money or your chips or whatever else just ended up in his pile. You know what I'm saying? So it's everything that we do is, is competitive. And, and, and that's what they want to do. They go to these events. They want to play against the best. They want to be competitive. But afterwards, you know, we still got to remember that it's 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 a community also. You know what I'm saying? Which is completely different than a lot of other sports. You know, a lot of other sports don't have that community type 
you know, it, it, you know, environment going on and also being competitive on the field. That's what's kind of unique about it as far as I'm concerned. I agree. And, you know, that's that's why I wish, you know, somehow we had a time machine I could take Jacob back to the beginning. Yeah. And remember the players' parties on Saturday? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. All of that stuff was just about as cool as you could get, period. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. you'd go out and you'd beat the crap out of each other all day long, and then everybody would get together and just have a big dinner and party on Saturday yeah. night. And then yeah. go out and play again on Sunday, you know? Yeah. It's just uh, – that's what we're trying to bring back. Uh, you know, that's why I, I think so much about the WCPL and the people that the WCPL is attracting too. That to me is a big thing. Um, absolutely, absolutely love the people that are coming to play this tournament. You know, and like I say, you know, Jacob, you're uh, you're becoming a big part of this. You know, um, you know, Dirk uh, was a big thing in the beginning of the year when Dirk committed to the WCPL. I was like. <sighs> You know, I mean, what a, what an absolutely cool thing to come out and say, yeah, we're going to go play WCPL. Well, you know, you've done the same thing with the Toxic Teddies, Jacob. Yep. You know, so, you know, as, as the, you know, we're getting our legs with the WCPL too. And as the WCPL grows, you can actually look back in, in years to come and say, you know what? I was there at the beginning of that and I actually helped make that grow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And the, the, the funny thing is that these guys have got a, uh, they've got a sure proven, you know, formula track record, you know, it's called the 1990s and, and they were all there. They were all there. They all did it. So it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's not rocket science, man. You know, yeah. they, they, they know what they're doing. It's, it's, it's what, you know, stupid, simple, however you want to word it. It's it's just not a complicated thing, you know. what I'm saying it doesn't need to be complicated. You know yeah, this absolutely. this sport this sport was born in the woods, you know, basically a, a capture the flag game, and yeah. and that will always exist, and it's in its in its simplest, rarest, you know, raw, rawest form, and it's uh, it's fun as hell. You know, it is. No, I agree. <laughs> now, hey, Jacob, what, what what made you want to get involved with the WCPL? <clears throat> um, well, Bob White crew, Bob White guys scooped me up last year and took me to St. Louis. Um, we started as just a scenario team, but I had a lot of the guys on my team that wanted to play tournament stuff. And before I could say, OK, we'll commit to tournament, I needed to go and dip my foot into some tournament ball. So last year I went and played with uh, wise guys at ICPL in Chicago. Um, played just Sweet. a little five man open with them, and then I pitted for them and learned and watched. Uh, and then Bob White, uh, Brian Morse, hit me up and asked me if I wanted to come play with them in St. Louis. And I was like, heck yeah, let's go. And I love the vibe that you guys had there. And I thought that it was a good place for us to start as opposed to taking our team right off right away and go play like ICPO. Um, so I, I thought that it was a good fit and it was actually really good for us because, you know, you got teams like the OG Ironmen. The first tournament had the LA Ironmen's pro line there. Yeah. Uh, Those guys are no joke, man. No, no. Um <laughs> I can't think of his name, the field owner out there. Um, Glenn, Forster. Uh, Glenn Forster. Yes. Yeah. Um, awesome guy. I got to meet him, his line, and they won. I mean, they were killer. Yeah. We, we were able to stalemate those guys, and that was huge for us. That's real yeah. huge. Yeah, you know, you were playing against a, a bunch of uh, real good OG ballers, man. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Rodney Rodney was there. Oh. Rodney played on, yeah, Rodney played on, on Constant yeah. Pursuit also, you know. I mean, a lot of those guys back in the day, you know, played on CP and then went out to other teams and, and yeah. had successful careers like Dirt, you know. Rodney and Glenn, they uh, they did GBD for years. Yep. And then they were they were there at the beginning of uh, with Chuck Hench with Dynasty. Yep. Those guys started that. So that's that's the lineage that you're working with there. You know, I mean, those guys are no joke. I mean, CP, 
Uh, Glenn, Glenn played with the Ironman one tournament. He's, you know, they've played with GBD. Rodney's got a huge history with the all Americans, uh, dynasty, uh, cap, you know, I mean, there's avalanche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, avalanche, exactly. You, you can't, I mean, there's just so much there, you know, if you, if you take that all in, you know, Glenn's, Glenn's a cool, that he's a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? He's, like he's, he's a different guy, but you know something? Every yeah. single one of us in this community is different. Thank We're God different. for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank God for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what makes it cool, you know, is that we're not all a bunch of cookie cutter, same kind of people, you know, over and over and over again. There's a whole lot of personalities in this thing. And that's I what totally makes it, agree. that's what makes it cool. So, yeah, yeah they were, they were, <laughs> they played pretty damn good down there. Oh, right? hell yeah. But you know, what was cool is, you know, just like Rodney, I hadn't seen Rodney in years. Yeah. You know, and uh, now Rodney's son looks just like him, just a, yeah. like a young mini me, man. It was incredible to see that. It was, uh, <laughs> it, it was pretty cool. But yeah, those guys were out there. They were balling pretty good, man. Uh, and you know, you're right, Derek. Uh, like I say, I wish I could take Jacob and put him in a time machine, drag him back there. Man, it, you too. would be odd. You, you, yeah. you honestly, you honestly would, because you know, Dirk and I could sit and tell you stories for a year. I mean just some of the things that we've gone through and some of the guys we've got to play with alongside against, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been an incredible ride Hunter. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, you know, what's even more incredible is that we're at the age that we're at right now and we get to come back and play this game again, you yeah, know, I and agree. then, you know, I seen on the cake, I'm playing alongside my son, you know what I'm saying? That puts it on me on a regular basis, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. same, same way with Michael Beard, you know, his son's oh, a great yeah. player too. You know what I mean, yeah, He's Brandon's a baller. Yeah. yeah, and and then now you know now you got Jacob coming up through the ranks here, you know, and mm. uh, and you're gonna someday you're gonna be sitting here just like we are, you know, a couple old guys telling all the stories about how cool it was. You know, I knew this guy, I knew this guy, because you know, I'll tell you one good thing about the band, and you know, Billy knows this too, is. You know, guys come up to us after they kick the crap out of us and just say what an honor it was to play against us, you know. And they don't understand that I consider it just as much of an honor to play against them as they did oh, against yeah. us. Am I right, yeah. Billy? Yeah, you're 100%. It's like team lockout, you know, for me, you know, here in the Midwest and over on the East Coast, that's where we played, you know, and, and I've always watched them, you know, and it's just – you know, it's, it's like being a starstruck, you know, when you see Maddie and them guys playing, you know, it's like, you know, all this time, you know, and, you, you know, and get to go against them again. You know, it's, it's really cool. You know? Yeah, no, absolutely right. And, you know, lockout's a good example of it, too. Um, you know, they just uh, when <laughs> when they came over and asked me just to go take a picture, it just blew me away. Kevin Donaldson. Sorry, I can't get connected to StreamYard. You've yeah, been I drinking too much, too. Kevin. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I sent him a link too, and but uh, you know. Oh well, I think he yeah. froze up, Bill. Oh crap! Yeah, at least he froze up smiling, man. Whenever it happens to me, I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know? <laughs> oh, man, I look like 20 miles of bad road. <laughs> yeah, I'm never that lucky. So, and, and you know, another thing, Jacob, you're going to get to meet some guys in in New York. Uh, you know, I I can't wait for you to meet Dirk face to face. You know, I, I I can't wait for you guys to sit down and actually talk, not on the screen like this, but face to face. You're gonna you're gonna like this guy. You're gonna like his his history, his ability to still play. And just his attitude is, is a great attitude. But you're going to meet the guys from England. You know, oh, yeah. I, I, I played against these guys for 30-some years back in England. You know, uh, we were one of the first guys to go over there. After the Wild Geese went to England, we went yeah. over there, you know. Yep. Yeah, Marcus Davis. Um, yeah, very good friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Marcus Davis and the Preds. And we're going to get to see, uh, you know, Adam Gardner with the All A's. You know, All the Americans. original. The original All American and and his son is playing, you know. Yep. Yep. So it's yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be no joke. Yeah, you're not stop, stepping into chop liver. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But no. yeah, you're gonna. It's uh, it's gonna be a good one. But hey, yeah, I gotta it's tell you, you know, Kevin, Kevin puts on a good tournament, and the Blasters are, you know, I'll be honest with you, the Blasters actually ref 
the tournament uh, 30 some years ago. They are the probably the best refs that you could ever want to have. You know, they're very fair. Rosie is is probably the best head ref I think I've ever seen. He's a uh, you know very fair, no nonsense kind of guy. But the Blasters do a good job. They really, really do. And you know, uh, Jacob hasn't been ref by them yet, but you have, Derek, and Bill has. Oh, absolutely. Too. They're the best. They're the best. The best. Probably the best in the woods there ever was. You know, nice. absolutely one hundred percent. You know, yep. and then the nice thing about this format, you know, the other other formats, it's a little more difficult to do. But in this format, you typically have a scenario or a relationship or uh, with the referees that that basically uh, they're there to help you, mm-hmm. and they're they're not there to. It, it's it's not a uh, a penalty fest, you know what I'm saying? There so they're there to pull players out. They're there to help them. Um, they don't they don't mind if you're looking at them and asking them for help you know and and paint checks and all those different types of things it's 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 about you know working together and um the beauty of it is is you just don't see as many games the the outcomes of a situation you know changed because of a of a call you know so yep 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 but it's a little bit like i said it's a little bit a little more slowed down game because they're, they're bigger fields and you're in the woods so you can do that and i understand in the other scenarios it's really tough to do that so but basically you know generally you know 99 percent of the time you you know you you what what you earn is what you keep and that's usually what happens you know with with the with these guys repping absolutely 100 percent. no i agree and i'm sure they're going to be very glad you said that because i no, yeah they're the best they are. I, I promote them all the time. And, you know, Kevin does a terrific job. He, uh, oh, absolutely. You know, it, it's just, I love Kevin, man. Even if you can't get on, Kevin, I, I still love you, man. You're a good guy. Yeah. So, Jacob, you're looking forward to this, huh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my whole roster is. We pretty much got everybody all lined up, and we're, we're ready. We wish well, it was next we, week. We get out there. You know, I want to introduce you to a, a bunch of people out there, too. Sounds so, like plan. Um, yeah, and I'm sure cool. Dirk will too. Uh, like I say, I can't wait for you to meet Dirk. Um, you'll see as soon as you meet him and talk to him for a while, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It'll, it'll come down. And, and I'm not trying to blow smoke up his butt, you know. Uh, it just is, you know, I'm one of them guys when you earn it, you deserve it. Period. It's mm-hmm. it's just like that cut and dry. Make, you make don't sure earn you it. Go to Caro's, the, the Greek restaurant right below the hotel, also on. Oh God, yeah. We're, well, we'll have our party there Saturday night. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a, a few people uh, already talking about that. But uh, yeah, that's had, on Saturday uh, night. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. which motel is it that you guys we stayed at? Is it the same one, the Red Roof Inn, or yeah. Red Roof Inn? Yeah. Absolutely. Woohoo! That's where we're at. Yeah, I'm, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's right next door. Yep, yeah, we're there too. So yeah, we'll go down there Saturday night and. Uh, Last year we took over the place. It was pretty. Now see, yeah. look at—he freezes up. You still can't see him with a weird face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know hey. how you do that, man. <laughs> Is that a Bud Light? I think that's a Bud Light in his hand there. <laughs> oh, he's blowing his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Bud Light. <laughs> I love it, man. Just saying. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what, uh, Jacob? Have you guys got your motels and everything out there already, or? Yeah, we uh, we actually are staying in an Airbnb about 35, 40 minutes away, but it's a nice, yeah. it's, it's a big cabin. Oh, cool. Sleeps yeah, like 16 good. plus people, so. How, is, how far is it from uh, uh, the actual uh, town itself? You know, the actual city? That I got to look up. Because I, I think our motel, it's only about, what, 15 minutes from the field? Yeah, it's, like yeah it's not very far. And then you pass everything you need going there or coming back. So it's awesome. You know, we've got all the stores and everything just all right there. You're talking yeah. about all the donut shops, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, food, man. Good luck, man. Food, food's the important thing. Give it up. Give it up. I didn't just meet you yesterday. <laughs> no, all the important stuff. No, yeah, there you, you go. Buy the donuts at the field at Dilly Dilly. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, you, know, yeah, the, you, don't, you don't need anything while you're at the, at the field, you know. Yeah, so. I don't think Jacob's seen the bucket of donuts yet. I, I oh. think, you know, yeah, this is going to be a uh, whole new experience for you, man. Did they have yeah, that? Yeah, Frank will be. 
Frank will be selling the Dilly Donuts and the Spike Lemonade all out of the, out of the same vehicle, out yeah, of the same know. trailer. What a combination! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had Dilly Donuts at World Cup last year. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, they're pretty good, huh? They, they're good. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you're going to really like though, Jacob. You're going to like the camaraderie when you when you get out there. Um, the teams are going to be hard. Don't go there thinking that there's any gimmies. Other than oh, maybe no. us, you know, but uh, there's uh, there's some pretty tough teams. Actually, uh, last year, one team <laughs> thought we were a gimme, and we pulled the flag on him. Remember, Billy? No, yeah. you don't remember. Yeah, that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> 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 that that team last year, and that you know, Francis, uh, I can't remember, Francis Swain. Yeah, is his I'm name. He, yeah, real quick. He had a team called the Hellhounds. Yeah. Matter of fact, they, they made me a jersey. I got their jersey here. They came here with 10 guys. They played the first day, and five of his guys got mad and left. So the second day, there was only five of them, and they suited up just like I would have did too. They suited up to go play, and then uh, uh, I think uh, Rumrell's kids, he had two kids. A bunch yeah. of people jumped in and gave him a hand. But they did not quit. And that's where I got. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Respect is mm -hmm. that right there. You know, he didn't badmouth the guys that left. He didn't badmouth anything. He just says, you know what? They left. We're going to play on. And man, I got to tell you, I've had him on a show a few times. Nothing but respect for that kid. Great, great guy. So absolutely. You're going to get to meet him. He'll be out there also. Nice. You're gonna you're gonna meet a lot of guys, Jacob. You know you're starting to come up in the ranks now. You need to know these guys. You know, uh, a lot of these guys, I won't say are super important and have a lot of connections. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna see the attitudes and it'll rub off on you. You know, the more you hang around with nice people, the more you become that nice person, and everybody's gonna want to hang out with you. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Is Ruben going out there? Oh yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, he's good got to watch my six. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> is that blocking your six or watching your six? <laughs> Whatever needs to happen. See, that's he, what, He's that's my what big man. He can stand like this. <laughs> yeah. it, that's what sucks for me because, you know, Billy's usually my, my moving bunker. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just play behind him, yeah. People go, hey, that guy's got two guns. They go, no, I think somebody's behind him sticking it through his <laughs> other arm. <laughs> 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 so, well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're to the end of the show here. Um, you know, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming on tonight. It's, uh, I appreciate it so much. And I, I am honestly looking forward to being with you guys out there in New York. And Dirk, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you out here. Um, yes, sir. We, we got a few things we're going to do. Yeah. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. That's for sure. It's always a pleasure. So, Jacob, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Um, I want to thank you a lot for taking the time to come on tonight, my friend. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in New York and looking forward to uh, giving you more connections in New York. I appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to meeting you, Dark. Uh, yeah. Bill sucks you won't be able to make this one. Yeah. You will be missed. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys again for having me on here. Um promoting toxic teddies my team um teddy talk ruben and i and what we've been doing and uh if when you when are you guys on tell everybody when you're on jacob uh thursday nights at 7 p.m eastern standard time you can view us on toxic teddies paintball team page on facebook um that's where we drop our link so if you want to follow us follow our page and check us out on Thursdays. Um, we, awesome. just, we try to talk about our scenario events. Um, you know, we try to interact with everybody who's viewing as best as we can and stay on track. Uh, we like to recap the events we had. We like to talk about the things we have up and coming. Uh, we do the same as Fred here, and we like to bring in guests either from a recap or from what we have coming up. This Thursday, we're talking about Living Legends, which is just around the corner for us um, in the scenario world. And I'm an XO, and so we're going to have a couple of the 
other guys from the other team on so we can banter back and forth. So if you're interested, tune in and uh, chat with us. Hang out. That's 7 o'clock Eastern time and 4 o'clock Pacific, correct? Yes. There you go. I didn't get a chance, uh, Teddy Talk. I, I've had the privilege of being on their show already, and uh, it's very cool. Um, you, you guys have just seen Jacob, very good guy. You're going to equally like his partner, Ruben, another terrific person. So if you get a chance, Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, uh, 7, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. I'm at 7 Pacific. There you go. You get a chance when I jump on uh, Teddy Talk. Um, you're going to love these guys. Jacob, thank you so much for coming on tonight, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys all have Take a good Take care, night. buddy. We'll see, you in, we'll see you in New York. Sounds good, man. Yeah, Safe yep. travel. Uh, yep. See you, see you on the 20. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. That's Mr. Jacob Easter. Yeah, he's a good kid. You know, you're you're going to like him, uh, Dirk. Um, you know. <laughs> You know, you know me. I don't. I don't push anybody that I think is is not good for the sport. If you're good right. for the sport. I'm behind you, pushing you all the way. Period. Um, yeah. That's what that's what makes paintball grow. It's the good guys. It really, really does. So, Joshua Estrada, my buddy. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate that. You know, you can always have a good show when you got good guests. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know the guests really, really uh, command the show. And Dirk. You and Jacob did a terrific job tonight, my friend. I appreciate so much you being on. Um, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Yep. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next couple of weeks here. Absolutely. A couple of weeks. And uh, what is it? Five weeks. We're going to be in New York together. And yep. boy, this sounds, sounds like a, a, a tough life, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too bad. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's too bad. <laughs> All right, Freddie. Love you guys. Hey, take care. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody in New York. Sounds good, Dirk. Oh, Keep all right, buddy. You, man. Love you too, brother. All right. Bye. Take care. See ya. Billy, that is, I got to tell you, Dirk is one of the nicest guys I know. You know what? He is, I mean, he's just class all the way up, down, and sideways. You know, and that, that's how Jacob's becoming now, too. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I, I want Jacob to meet the right people and get hooked up with the right people because oh, yeah. you get hooked up with the wrong people, your career is short. It's not very, a... very short. No doubt. No doubt. How's the weather there right now, my friend? I still hear thunder and lightning, and it's still pretty good wind. So I just, I've heard light. I think whenever I freeze up, I think that's when we're getting lightning. So you 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 froze you froze up smiling, and then you froze up taking a drink. It was a funny, and, yeah. and then you started you started talking, but you were still froze like this. And Rob Walker got on and goes, "Oh my God, Bill can talk while he's drinking." <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just froze up again. Ah yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. All right, brother. I'll just say goodbye right. to everybody. All right. See you, everybody. Uh, tomorrow night, you know, we're doing a night at the museum at General Paintball. And uh, what time, uh, Billy? Uh, eight o'clock uh, Central. So that'd be six o'clock your time. Yep. And nine o'clock. And that would be what? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock on the East Coast. So there you go. We'll just talk about whatever. So. Yep, Bill Bailey along with Kenny Stewart um, got yep. some great, great stuff. You're going to want to tune in. It's very, very cool. And they, they talk today. They bring up some absolutely terrific stuff, too. Um, yep. I got to tell you, it's great. All right, Billy. All right. See you, everybody. All right. All right, everybody. I want to thank you again so much for uh, tuning in tonight. I really do appreciate it. Um, I love the WCPL. I love the people that are helping us build this uh, tournament circuit. And like I say, let me say one more time, you know, we're not out to, to go against anybody. I like the NXL. I like the ICPL. I like the Montressor Classic. I like them all. As long as they're good for paintball, I'm in. All right. So remember, guys, uh, you know, like I say all the time, individually, we can do a lot for paintball. Collectively, we all work together. We can do an enormous amount for PayPal. So let's all work together, huh? Please. Okay. Till next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, 
That's seven o'clock Pacific time on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions. Please, until then, please play hard, play safe, play fair. Get out there and play paintball. You guys have a good evening and thank you so much once again.